the power-driven vessel of over fifty meters in length, when under way, shall show two masthead lights, the lowest one forward of the other, a side light on each side of the vessel, and a stern light. However, two mast lights do not indicate the vessel is over fifty meters in length. When this power-driven vessel has a length between twelve and fifty meters, it is only required to show one masthead light, side lights, and stern light, but it may show both. It is entirely up to the ship. When this power-driven vessel has a length between seven and twelve meters, it is only required to show an all-round white light and side lights. And when less than seven meters, with a speed of less than seven knots, it may just show an all-round white light and side lights only when it is practicable. A power-driven vessel navigating in restricted visibility shall sound when under way and making through the water one long blast on the whistle at intervals of not more than two minutes. When under way but stopped and not making way through the water, two long blasts on the whistle at intervals of not more than two minutes, with about two seconds between them. Be aware that in certain circumstances, in addition to the steaming lights above, air cushion craft may show an all-round flashing yellow light. And a wake craft shows a high-intensity all-round flashing red light. Rule 23. Power-driven vessel underway. Rule 35. Sound signals in restricted visibility. Rule 23. Power-driven vessel underway. A. A power-driven vessel underway shall exhibit 1. A masthead light forward. 2. A second masthead light abaft of and higher than the forward one, except that a vessel of less than 50 meters in length shall not be obliged to exhibit such light, but may do so. 3. Side lights. 4. A stern light. B. An air cushion vessel, when operating in the non-displacement mode, shall, in addition to the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, exhibit an all-round flashing yellow light. C. A wig craft, only when taking off, landing, and in flight near the surface, shall, in addition to the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, exhibit a high-intensity, all-round, flashing red light. D. 1. A power-driven vessel of less than 12 meters in length may, in lieu of the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, exhibit an all-round white light and side lights. 2. A power-driven vessel of less than seven meters in length, whose maximum speed does not exceed seven knots, may, in lieu of the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, exhibit an all-round white light and shall, if practicable, also exhibit side lights. 3. The masthead light or all-round white light on a power-driven vessel of less than 12 meters in length may be displaced from the fore and aft center line of the vessel if center line fitting is not practicable provided that the side lights are combined in one lantern, which shall be carried on the fore and aft center line of the vessel, or located as nearly as practicable in the same fore and aft line as the masthead light or the all-round white light. Extract from Rule 35, Sound Signals in Restricted Visibility In or near an area of restricted visibility, whether by day or night, the signals prescribed in this rule shall be used as follows. A. 
a power-driven vessel making way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes one prolonged blast. B. A power-driven vessel under way but stopped and making no way through the water shall sound at intervals of not more than two minutes two prolonged blasts in succession with an interval of about two seconds between them.